Yo, what up fam? It is Nick here with Living Arige. Got a little cayenne pepper on my face from lunch. Anyways, I'm coming to you here today from Austin, Texas. It is getting a little, a little wet outside. I don't know if you can quite make that out, but <clears throat> we are in the middle of a rainstorm. And uh, I wanted to relate to you what a little story about me. So, I haven't been posting on this channel much, and I just got back, <laughs> and when I say just got back, it's like five months ago, four months ago now, but uh, I finished up a bike trip across America, and so a few things in this. One is, uh, I just recently filed my paperwork to start a marketing company. Like an advertising, marketing, daka, 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 daka company. Um, I think a result of that was I listened to way too many marketing business podcasts and decided I need to learn marketing. Um, and so I just, you know, I started, I might as well, you know, make money while I learn marketing properly. So... While I was talking today with um, my buddy Ricardo, who also did a similar bike trip where he biked from Alaska down to Argentina, and it's called Pedal South, and he's been able, in the past year, he did it pretty recently too, in the past year he's been able to create a successful speaking um, career out of this, or I guess maybe, I don't know if career, might be a little early to call it a career, but a successful speaking gig system where he's consistently getting speaking things, and he's, we were talking about, you know, taking him to the next level, and like getting online courses about leadership and stuff, because he's had, you know, a nice diverse background of leading people, um, including on this trip. <clears throat> Um, what I found, what I kind of discovered about myself, uh, while I was in this little meetup, cause like we did like a little back and forth, uh, I, I helped him kind of clarify his thoughts and then he was helping me clarify my thoughts and we were kind of like putting each other to the test and which is really fucking cool if you ever get the chance to do it with some peers. I shied away from it for the longest time cause I didn't want it to be clear for some reason. Um... I think I was embarrassed to get through it, and now I have since, you know, kind of adjusted and uh, get, just got over myself, you know. It's, you, you got to look at yourself objectively, right? So, we, we talked about this, and um, I wrote a book called Hungry for Miles. Um, you can get that on my website in a couple days here at uh, thebicycledaily.com. And uh, he was telling me, like, I should tie it into marketing because he wrote his book in a personal memoir style. And then he was like, you should. And then he was like, yeah, I, I tied it into leadership um, because I had leadership experience and leadership was part of it. And da, 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 but it was just more of like a memoir. And my book was more of a memoir. And I wrote it just cause, to write it. Um, but I never thought about it like that. And that's one of the big benefits of, you know, having a mentor. So that's the first part of the thing is to kind of like describe that experience. And now the epiphany that I had, and this is, this is something that's really cool, something that kind of the dots started connecting for me while I was having this epiphany with uh, my buddy, my mentor, um, Ricardo Palmores. Um, I, I think I'll put the link to his facebook down below you can subscribe here down below too um was he he was like you should connect you know the bike trip to marketing um and while i was thinking about it he got on the phone he was talking with somebody else nothing to do with the, like what we were talking about it was, i was just going through like mental brainstorming and taking notes and I had this big sheet of paper writing all this stuff out and like all these like different things that i had and I was able to like kind of tie it up into into marketing, and I started to realize like everybody hates marketing, everybody hates receiving it, everybody hates making it, uh, except for a couple very rare cases, and 
these cases were where the marketing was fun and effective. And it, it had to do, like there's like a fundamental foundation marketing sequence that you have to have like the structure, the back end, the product, the front end, da 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 da. Um, but there was also something a little more to it. And I, I remember listening to the shenanigans, the shenanigans of Richard Branson and how he just did all these publicity stunts and he just made it fun to market. Um, and then that kind of came to me. And then I, I connected that to while I was on my bike tour, everybody was asking me, why am I doing this? They were like, you know, like, why are you going on this bike tour? What is it for? You know, are you doing it for a cause? Are you doing it for this, for that? And then I was like, what if, this was the question I was asking myself today. I was like, what if, you know, this could be a better way to market? What if this could be more fun to create, you know, fun videos? What if it's, you know, you can create fun events and es expeditions like this and invest the money in another way to where you get a better following and branding and uh, engagement, a better engagement, and that that could grow almost organically um, instead of all this force advertising that depends too much on coercion. And uh, is too complex and depends, you know, too much coding. Coding is actually very, very important to create the, you know, the systems that capture, you know, your your crowd and your people into the product. But what if it could just be fun and valuable? So that was that was my thing. Like that that was my epiphany for the day. <laughs> that was my inspiration. I had a I had a mentor. Um and I think I'm gonna create a marketing mastermind group too. So if any of you wanna get in on this, you let me know. Uh I think I'll have some interviews to come as well. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Peace.